And this is another monster. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, guys, there's the first one on just a worm. My third favorite way to fish for bluegill in the summertime. If you guys haven't seen the first two videos that are out right now, there is the one with the Rock Creek hair jigs and the crappie nibbles combination. And there's the one with the rooster tail. Now we're showing you how to catch them with just old school worm and a hook. Doesn't get any simpler than this. You know, because look how light that is. It's just the trout magnet bobber mm -hmm. with the trout magnet jig head. So when it's in there, it's going to look very natural. Just twitch it a little bit, let it float in. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're closer to shore, huh? Yep. There we go. There's two. All right, guys, there's the second one. Beautiful bluegill. Very nice. Very effective technique if you're targeting bluegill. Now, guys, this is the same technique I would use if I was going after some bluegill and I was going to use them later on for bait. If you're catfishing or if you're wanting to throw a big hook on there and throw it out for a big bass, if that's something that you enjoy doing, you could definitely use this technique for that too. Guys, when you're pan fishing with worms or any other bait, you're wanting to break down the area. So you got brush here. And when you also have this weed edge where bugs will be falling down and in. And they're also spawning at this time. So this whole area right here is just like a, a perfect situation to be able to catch pan fishing. All your laydowns, your brush, your weeds, all of it. They should be having spawning beds right in this area. There we go. That's a crappie. All right. Look at that, y'all. On a piece of worm. A piece of worm. Beautiful. Third favorite pan fishing method is because you're gonna catch bluegill, you're gonna catch bass, you're gonna catch crappie. Absolutely beautiful. Got another one. Big old bluegill. Nice. I'm messing with you, brother. All right, look at that, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Very effective method right here, y'all. Very effective. And extremely affordable and cheap. Anyone can use this method. There we go. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Another monster bluegill, y'all. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Wind is from walking up that hill with a bucket of water. See that big bass just splash right there? All right, y'all. Gonna work this area here around these cattails. See if there's anything hanging out in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good first fish. That is a massive <laughs> bluegill. Look oh, at the yeah. size of that thing, That's brother. Beautiful gill. Wow. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, let's let that one go. Ultralight fishing. Doesn't get any more ultralight than this. I mean, it can, but you don't have to. See if there's any more big ones right here in this area. Oh, brother, you can always grab your pole and come over here. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got seven or eight in there now nice. for us to take down. Beautiful. Look at that. That one would not be for bait, y'all. That one would be actually a good eater if you're going to keep them. All right, y'all, let's talk about our setup on this one. We're throwing the Ugly Stick, the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Light Pro, which is a 6 foot 6 pole. We have a Fluger President. This is a SP35. High-vis, 4-pound test, mono. We have the... Trout magnet bobber down to the trout magnet jig head. And we're tipping that with a worm. Once again, this is why this is one of my favorite ways to fish for panfish in the summer. This presentation gives them a very slow fall. 
which is exactly what they're looking for. It makes it look more natural. They're, right off the bat, Mike, good call. Woo, that's a big fish. That's a monster bluegill, brother. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, 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 Safina. Guys, I was standing over here, just casting around, and Mike goes, right over there by that willow, something big just jumped. That's why you respond when people say stuff. Look at the size of that. That's got to be one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. And I'm not just saying that. Look at the size of that fish, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Look, they just popped over here again. Pay attention to the fish when you see the activity, y'all. So as I reel it in, that bobber, it's going to pendulum behind that bobber. And it's going to come in at a very slow rate. So as it's falling through the water column, those fish are going to see it. They're going to be more likely to come up and hit it. Especially if you're bringing it across the top of bluegill beds. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Another beautiful gill. That is what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, if we were going to be keeping fish, <laughs> we'd be doing pretty good for a fish fry. Just kind of twitch it like that. Let it stop. Twitch it again. Let it stop. Another thing you could do, look at the edge of the cattails or the willows out there. Pop it right in there. Y'all can't see this because it's behind the cattails. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That one's putting on a show. Nice. Nice. Beautiful colors on that one. Yep. They're called sunfish for a reason, y'all. In the middle of the day, doesn't matter. They're still going to eat. Still one of the funnest ways to fish. Let's let that one go. That was probably the most ungraceful release I've ever had. There we go. Yeah, that's a decent, that's a decent bluegill, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's a decent bluegill. Oh, that's beyond decent, brother. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, y'all. That is how you do it. Right there. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Yes, sir. Let's let that one go. See, that's what I do like about it. If you have this set up and you have the right line on, you can actually cast pretty far. You don't have to put a bunch of weight on what that, pound test you got on? I believe that's four. Yeah. That's and look, it's that little trout magnet bobber and just that little 164th ounce trout magnet jig head. I'm sure the worm gives it, but look, I could cast all the way to the other side of the pond. They seem to be on the edge of the willows right there. I just pop it and I kind of give it a second to wait. See what happens. I must have dropped that last one right on its bed. Right off the bat. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Oh, oh. That's a nice one. That is a nice one, brother. Oh, my goodness. That's the big one of the day. Look at the size of that. That's a hog, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, nope. You got a cameo. You didn't realize you were making a cameo today. But you have people who want to see you. You can go back into hiding in a minute. Check that out, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Go get bigger. Let's see if we can't recreate that. Guys, why is this method, why is this technique so effective? Watch. See if the magic continues. Yeah, look at that. Mike, I got the whole school of them over here, brother. Come over here. And this is another monster. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that one. Hold on, I gotta get this one. I'm telling you, brother, come over. They're they're hiding over here. Oh. Guys, that is redunculous.
He did the happy dance, guys. You missed it. My Look at that. goodness. That's all beautiful. All day long. Yep. Those are so fun to catch. Brother, cast right in there. You see where the shade ends? Right there on the shade line. All right, y'all. We're going to let that one go. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Go get bigger. Yep, but look at that. Right off the bat. See where I cast, Mike? Yeah. And that's another hog. Oh, my goodness. Mike, you're under. Got him. Guys, we just doubled up. Look at that. Oh, yeah, brother. Bring it this way. Get it out of the cattails. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> look at that. Tell me, guys. You want to know if this is an effective method? We're fishing exactly Beautiful. the same. I have a black jig head. He has the silver, but the, the method's exactly the same. The bobbers are the same. Wow. That was awesome. That is awesome. Let's do it again. There we go. See, right off the bat. All right, Mike. Oh, that is a monster. Got a nice one. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Oh, look good at lord. These are nine, nine and a half inches all day long. That's a big old bull. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, I bet you dropped it right on the bed. Or it came right out of the willow and slammed it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? One or the other. There you go. It's running with it. Oh my goodness. He got another one, guys. Another decent fish. Wow. Oh, why do you go fishing, really? Because it's just fun. Do I have to explain it? Have you not watched the videos, y'all? There we go. That's another nice one. Oh, oh yeah. Come here, baby. Guys, look at this. Woo, if we were going to do a fish fry, we'd be eating good. I'm telling you. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, go get bigger. There we go. Oh, oh, I think I got a bass or I got a big old gill. Another, oh my goodness. <laughs> Mike, look at that. Oh guys. Okay. That is absolutely beautiful. That one's every bit. That's just massive. Absolutely massive. There we go. Oh, oh. Do we both just hook up? Yeah. Look at that, guys. One, two. Beautiful. That's what we're talking about. All right, look at that, let's let it go. Right off the bat, dude, every single cast. That is what I'm talking about. I mean, they are just slamming it. I'd say they're Beautiful. Uh... Oh, yeah, right there. Come on. I knew it. Come on. That has home run written all over it. There it is. <laughs> we both just doubled up again. Beautiful colors. Yep. You wore yourself out from fishing yet? Yeah, my back's screaming. You done? Yeah, okay. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video as we showed you once again one of our favorite ways to catch panfish in the summer. And this one was with the trout magnet bobber, trout magnet jig head, and a little piece of night crawler. No matter what happens y'all, get outside, go fish, and have fun, and we'll see you on the next cast. Mm -hmm.